How's it going? I'm here for you. I have got some things that <laughs> people have said to me in the salon. I don't know what's wrong with people, but apparently the people check their filter at the door. What? I, I don't understand the public anymore. I don't understand what's going on. Y'all don't have no problem being rude to people who are trying to help you and service you. So this is some of the mess that has been said to me. There was a lady who came in who, <laughs> who said, are you going to be the one that's doing my hair? And I said, yes, I am. If you'll step this way. She said, now let me tell you, you beep up my hair and I'm going to come back and kill you. Well, I just thought she was an old, sarcastic lady. So I said, oh, well, do you prefer a gun or a knife? And she said, whatever's closest. And then she popped me on my bottom. So I thought, you know, maybe she's just old and kidding and sarcastic. And this is maybe just her personality. But then she sits in my chair and says, again, if you F up my hair, I'm going to come back and kill you. I said, lady, there are three things we need to get straight first. Number one, you do not scare nor intimidate me. Number two, I do good hair. Number three, you're gonna sit there and be quiet until we are done. She looked at me and she done lost her mind like I was the first person in her whole entire life that ever stood up to her. 30 minutes later into doing her perm, she said, so, have you lived in this place long? <laughs> Stupid woman. Something else that a lady said this week at the salon. She came in and she said, every time I get my hair cut, I'm in a bad mood. Honey, check yourself at the door. Don't bring that mess in here. I had one lady. I was trained by a certain um, branch of high-end salon that originated in Europe. And so there was a very, very precise, specific way of cutting clean, nice sections. We're not just grabbing a wad of hair and cutting at it. Everything's precise, everything's specific. Everything is done with um, intention. And this lady said, you know you cut like a beginner? <laughs> and I was like, I've been doing this for over three years. I cut so that you end up with a great cut. You're paying X amount of dollars for this. You're gonna look right by the time you leave. As far as I'm concerned, you are my walking billboard and I can't have my billboards walk on the street messed up. Now, I don't understand why people come to the salon and say, I just want a regular haircut. What is regular? What is that like saying? I just want to be normal. What is normal? It, that is so relative. Your regular might be different from my regular. Clearly, I like what I've got going on, but this not be. This is my regular. It ain't gonna be your regular. Please be specific. What? I just want a regular haircut. This one man came in and said, "I want a businessman's haircut," and I looked at him like he was crazy because I think businessman. I go to Donald Trump. If you want to look like Donald Trump, I'll hook you up. But I'm pretty sure that's. Probably not what you're looking for. Don't say I want a businessman's haircut. You, the next man who says that to me, you're getting a Donald Trump. <laughs> it cracks me up when people say, just cut off, cut off all the dead stuff, but only take a half inch. <laughs> Honey, the last four inches of your hair is dead stuff. You ain't had your hair cut in a year. You need four inches, but you only want me to take a half inch? Lord, what? Do better. I had this one lady come in. I had long hair, and I colored the front part of my bangs there, it's all blonde. She walked in and she said, you know it looks like a big old bird pooped on your head? Lady, I haven't even started your haircut yet. You want me to look like a bird pooped on your head? Don't insult me. Where is the people's filter? One question I never understand is, what did you do to your hair? Well, this is what I did to my hair. If you can see it, this is what I did. I don't understand the question. I don't understand people who will call in and say, now, I know today you leave at 4 o'clock, but can you stay and do my hair at 6 when I get off work? I have a life. I got things to do after work. I'm... No better. Do better. 